Today, I'm going to be walking you through our onboarding tutorial. This will be really helpful for anyone who hasn't already got their Mixo account set up and needs that extra hand getting started. So, the first step we're going to take is to go onto our preferred web browser and type in Mixo DJ or Mixo the DJ library. Once we've done this and selected enter, we should be presented with Mixo. And if we click on this link, you will be taken to our homepage. From here, we're going to select download and then we're going to click the link for our preferred device. Once Mixo has been downloaded and opened, if we haven't already got an account, we're going to select Join Mixo. Once we've been taken to this page, you're going to enter your DJ name as well as your email. Once we have finished typing our credentials, we can go ahead and select Join. This will send a verification email to your chosen email account. This will need to be verified before we log in. Once this is done and we're on the login page, we're going to log in with the same credentials we just signed up with. Now that we've been logged in, the first step we're going to take is to head up to settings, then into cloud, and then we're going to connect to our preferred cloud storage. Once we have connected to our cloud storage, we'll then have the option to open in Mixo. And as you can see, we have been connected to our Google Drive and the same will apply for Dropbox and OneDrive. Once we've been connected to our cloud storage, the first thing we want to do is to go up to settings, then into Serato, and here is where we're going to import our first collection of music. We can select multiple playlists to import or just the one. Once we have decided on this, we can then go back up to the top and select import Serato. Once we've selected import Serato, we'll be taken to the progress view. From here, we can see how many tracks have been analyzed and uploaded. And then upon completion, we should receive a pop-up message saying all tracks were uploaded and synced. Once we've closed this pop-up message, we can then go in and look at our recently imported playlists. As you can see, all the tracks are there, including their artworks. Now that we've got music imported into our Mixo account, the next step is to download Mixo on our mobile device. Once this has been downloaded and opened, we can log in with the same credentials as we just signed up with. Once we are in, you'll see that your mobile device automatically syncs with your desktop and the playlists we just imported will appear. If we go into a playlist, you see we have the option to download for offline listening. Then in order to check these downloads, we go back into settings and into the downloads menu. This will show you how many tracks have been downloaded as well as their artworks. The next feature I want to look at is editing our metadata. So if we go into a playlist and select a song, then if we press the bar at the bottom, will be taken in and as you can see we can edit our star rating additionally we can zoom in on the waveform and then if we go to the left hand side and select grid you'll see that this is really helpful when editing our beat grids on top of this we can add cue points and then once we have multiple cue points we can right click on one of these cue points and order these either by color or as you can see I'm doing by name if we press the information icon in the bottom left you can see that we can edit even more track info, including the name of the song, the artist, the composer, as well as adding comments to our tracks. It's worth noting that all these changes we just made to our metadata will automatically sync back to your desktop. So as you can see, the cue points we've just added, as well as the names, as well as the star rating for the track, this will all be transferred as soon as you log back into your desktop device. So, we've just gone through editing metadata on our mobile device, and of course, we can do exactly the same on our desktop device. So if we add a queue, and then once we have multiple, we can either order these by color coding, or as you can see, by name. Additionally, we can zoom in on the waveform, and then if we head to the left-hand side and select grid, you can see that we can also adjust our beat grids. And then if we press the information icon again, you can see we can edit the track metadata, like I said, we can edit the name, the artist, the album, the composer, as well as adding comments to our tracks. The next feature we're going to look at is creating new playlists within Mixo. So if we right hand click on the playlist icon, you can see that we then have the option to add a new playlist. Once we've named this playlist and selected save, we can then go into any pre-existing playlist or alternatively all tracks and select whichever tracks we'd like to add to our new playlist. This will carry over any existing cue points as well as beat grids, as well as any other track metadata that already exists. So if we head into our newly created playlist 
as I said, all the metadata will be transferred across into this new playlist. And as you can see, all of our existing cue points are there. So now that we have made changes to our metadata and we've created a new playlist, it's time to export back to Serato. So if we select export from the top menu, then select Serato, we can then go over to advanced import options. And from here, we're going to toggle overwrite track metadata and cues. This will overwrite any existing metadata and cues within Serato. Once we've done this, we can go ahead and select Export Serato. Once this has finished loading, we can then head straight into Serato. But before any changes are saved, we must first restart Serato. Now that Serato has opened back up, we can see that our additional playlist has been imported. And if we check, all of our metadata changes will also have been saved. Now, before I conclude this onboarding tutorial, we're now going to check out our advanced settings. So if we go to settings and the menu at the top, firstly, we're going to go onto account. And as you can see, we can change our name as well as our email, as well as our password. If we go into an advanced settings page, you can see we have a list of advanced settings that can be toggled. Any further details for these can be found in our advanced settings guide. If we head into duplicates, this will scan for any current duplicates existing within your Mixo account. The download progress page. This will show you any current tracks that are downloading as well as their artworks. The support page. This is really helpful if you need to get in touch with us regarding any bugs or new features. The keyboard shortcuts. And then as well as our debug page. This is really helpful for resetting your Mixo account, your local, clearing your cache, deleting your upload queue or deleting old artwork. So that's really all there is to it, guys. If you have any further questions regarding our onboarding tutorial, please get in touch with us via team at mixo.dj.